This is part one of a video series created for students studying CFD analysis of a quadcopter. In this video, you will learn how to import a geometry in ANSYS Discovery, perform some repairing and defeaturing of your geometry. Additionally, you will learn how to create rotational zones and enclosure for your CFD model. You can now launch ANSYS Discovery that has been installed on your computer. This is the ANSYS Discovery interface. For this course, we are going to import a DISCO file into the ANSYS Discovery. To import, you can go to the File menu and click Open. Find the provided quadcopter start point disco file and then open the file. When you import your geometry into ANSYS Discovery, there might be some potential issues such as missing faces, small gaps or sharp angles. To prevent meshing issues, these problems have to be fixed. To fix them, you can just go to Repair tab and then try different tools and functions that are available in ANSYS Discovery. For the geometry that we have imported, we have some issues with the missing faces. When you select the missing faces, you will see that one edge will be highlighted. If the location of the edge is correct, then you can just complete the task by accepting this green check mark. For the models that involve moving parts like these propellers, you need to create separate domains for each moving part. These domains will be rotated in the ANSYS Fluent Solver with the rotational speeds that you are going to define. To create these rotational zones, select this surface, then go to Design. Select Sketch Mode, then Plan View. Select Circle and create a circle with 300 mm diameter. Then go back to Design. Select 3D Mode. The next function that you are going to use is Pull. Select the surface, drag in Z direction, and then put 42 mm as a height and press Enter and then Escape. Now, adjust the MRF position so that it doesn't intersect with the drone, while ensuring the rotor remains fully enclosed within it. Now you have to cut the propeller from this solid region. To cut the region, you can go to Combine, select the region, then select the cutter, then remove the part that needs to be removed. Now press Escape. To see what is inside, you can select the surface, right-click face and then hide the face. So the propeller region has been cut correctly. If you want to visualize the hidden regions, you can right-click and then show all. You can repeat these steps for each drone's arm. Since we have symmetry in this quadcopter, you can keep only one arm for the computation and remove the others to save computational time. But here we have decided to keep all four arms to make the post-processing part of this video series easier, only for understanding purposes. To simulate fluid surrounding the quadcopter, you need to create an enclosure. To create an enclosure, you can just go to Prepare and then select Enclosure. The enclosure can be a box, cylinder, or a sphere. For this study, we can go for a sphere, now we have four rotational zones and one enclosure zone. These four rotational zones will be rotated. In this type of application, we are not including solid bodies of the quadcopter. So you can remove the solid body or you can just click the exclude from simulation icon. You can also hide the bodies by clicking the hide icon. In order to identify the surfaces or the zones, in the next step, you need to name them correctly. For example, for these rotational zones, you can name them as the rotor 1 to 4. To give it a name, you can just select, right-click and then rename it. In addition to the zones, you have to provide names for the propeller walls as well. For the surfaces, you can just hide everything except rotor 1 and make the geometry transparent. And then with a the box select, try to select the propeller walls and then go to Named Selections. Select Create Names, and then provide a name for it. Now you can repeat these steps for the other rotational zones. The other surface that you need to provide a name is the enclosure surface. It could be an outlet or a far field. Whenever you have multiple bodies for your CFD model, you need to perform shared topology to get conformal mesh between the zones. You can find Share Topology under Prepare tab, 
Now click Share, and then Complete. Now you can just save your file on your computer and move to the next step. For the next step, which is the meshing, you can go to ANSYS Fluent Meshing Software and select Watertight Geometry Workflow. We will cover the meshing in the second part of this video series, so please stay tuned. Thank you for watching.